If somebody had told me 20 years ago that I was going to own a successful studio and have this huge ranch, I would have told them they were bonkers. It so would have been beyond my wildest dreams. And yet here I am, and actually sometimes I wake up and I pinch myself, it's like, how did I get here? This seems pretty crazy. And as I look back, it's really about being safe risk takers and taking step by step. When Liliana was a baby, so that's 17 years ago, Joe, my husband, worked full time at the restaurant and was miserable in his job. And I love teaching Nia, but it was so challenging as a young mom with a husband that worked long hours, nights and weekends, it was impossible for me to be able to do my passion the way I wanted to. It got to the point in the end where I gave Joe an ultimatum. I said, it is your your job or your family. He goes, what do you mean by that? And I'm like, if you want to stay in this family, you have to quit. And then of course he looked at me as like I was crazy. At that time, he was the safe and secure person. Joe had the main income of the household, the security, the health benefits. He was paying the bills. And so it seemed ludicrous that me and my little part-time business would entertain having him quit his job. But then I asked him, you know, if, if you did quit your job, this is the question I always ask myself when I'm looking at a risk, what's the worst thing that could happen? And Joe said, the worst thing, well, duh, is you won't make any money. And I said, oh no, it could be worse than that. I could lose money really fast. I realized that, you know, starting up my own business and really taking some risks, I could easily lose a lot of money. And so Joe's like, okay, that's worse. And I said, exactly. And then what would happen? And he was like, well, duh, you know, we'll, we'll lose the house, we'll lose our cars, we'll lose our possessions. And I said, yes, exactly. And we'll fulfill one of my greatest fantasies. We'll lose lose everything and become traveling hippies. And then Joe looked at me and when he realized I was being serious, he was like, okay. So he handed in his resignation and two weeks later I was like, oh no. It was one thing to say it, it was a whole nother thing to actually be in the reality. And so we had to cut our expenses very rapidly. I had to increase my income very quickly. And so every time I've been faced with a challenge or what seems like something way beyond my abilities or expectations, particularly financially, I'm in such a great win-win situation in that really the worst thing that could happen is still one of my greatest fantasies. That if we lose everything, I'm like, I still have my family, I still have my health. I still have my husband, I still have God that I trust will provide for me and it will be an incredible life. And so we're still riding the wave and see what comes next. So by sharing my story, I really hope it helps you to take safe risks. I'm, I recognize I'm a huge risk taker, but maybe look at what's the worst thing that could happen for you and find that buffer. It's find your edge, yeah, and then just take that safe risk and you'll find you're flying. It's an adventurous way to live your life. Take safe risks. Bye!